Hello and welcome to the main cave. Now in today's video, I'm going to be setting up the BenQ DP1310 USB-C docking station on my desk and asking if you can use this in your setup for a PC and also your console. So if you're new here, we make regular videos on technology for gaming and for your smart home. So please do consider subscribing as we may make a video to make your life easier. And I won't want you to miss out. So do hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Now, if you have a MacBook or a USB-C laptop that is powerful enough to run separate monitors or even up to three, then this is well worth a look. For me, in the purposes of this video, I'm going to link this up to my ROG Ally with a dual monitor setup along with my PS5. You can get this for around £289 at the time of recording, which is one of the more expensive docks, but for a very good reason, which I'll go through in this video. So the DP1310 comes nicely boxed with an HDMI cable, a USB-C cable, a power brick, and here in the UK, I've got a UK and Europe plug finally a handy cheat sheet on how to set it all up. On the dock at the front you have two USB-A's, a USB-C, 3.5 millimeter jack. On the rear is an Ethernet port, three USB-A ports, one HDMI in, one display port out, two further HDMI outs and a USB-C in. On the front to the right is the LED which is color coded green for the HDMI input and blue for the USB-C and then the knob on the right is to use to press in and switch between the two. Then on the bottom are two rubber feet which help it stick to the desk and on the top is like a heat sink style grate which on the website says helps with heat dissipation with double the cooling surface area. So the dock is powerful enough for most people and as you can see here the HDMI is 2.1 meaning you can get up to 8K60 along with two 4K60 monitors. Also for a laptop powerful enough it can run three monitors 4K60 and all the USB ports are decent and will run my ROG Ally in the full 30 watt profile when I plug it in later and I can't see any of the ports lacking in quality. HDMI 2.1 means you can run up to 8K 120, but this does drop to 8K 60 if you're attaching a USB device with triple monitors and also runs Dolby Atmos HDR 8K 60. So it's probably time I tell you what this is capable of and what it's not capable of. Okay, so this will accept a USB-C device and an HDMI console and output the USB-C device for up to three monitors and the HDMI device output to one monitor. So you may need to pause this bit, but take a look at this image from the BenQ website. It explains what can be connected with a single, dual and triple display. The green part will be for something like your console and the blue part for your USB-C device. But before we connect anything, the first thing the instruction tells you to do is download the driver. So I did that before connecting anything and I'll leave links down below of where you can get hold of that. So let's get it all plugged in then. And PSA, I'm leaving this mess here for the purposes of the video so I can show you what I'm doing easily. I am going to be tidying it up later. Thanks for letting me know. So let's get connecting then. I have my PS5 and I plug that in via HDMI to the DP1310 HDMI 2.1 in port. Next up, I plug the ROG Ally into the USB-C in port. In my setup, I'm currently using two monitors. The larger one here are called monitor A and the smaller one are called monitor B. So once the PS5 and the Ally is connected, we now need to set up the two monitors. Monitor A goes into HDMI out one and monitor B into HDMI out two. So once all plugged in, plug in the power and on the front, press the knob for three seconds to turn it on. If the LED is green, it will be displaying the PS5 to monitor A and the ally on monitor B. Now, if you press the knob to turn it blue, it switches to the USB-C input, which is my ally and shuffles the monitors around to add the extra monitor with the main feed showing on monitor A and on monitor B. Now, if you want to turn them off or duplicate or move or separate the screens, this is done in the Windows software. Just set it up to your preference. So now that's set up then, I can have my PS5 and my Ally plugged in and they can be used simultaneously or independently. But just to note here, all the ports on the DP1310 only work for the USB-C device. 
If you have an ethernet plugged into the dock, this runs the Ally perfectly, but it won't get recognized by the PS5. As with all of the USB ports, they all run into the USB-C device that you have connected. So if you use a wired mouse or a wired keyboard like I do, then get them connected. The main one for me was the ethernet. This is gigabit, so fast enough for most people. Then I use the front USB port to charge my devices that need it, but mainly the rear one is for me to connect my keyboard. So when connected, the only thing holding you back really is your stuff, is your monitors and what you are plugging in. The dock can handle itself and handled everything I threw at it. The PS5 was running a beautifully buttery smooth 1440 and the Ally, although not very powerful, was seamless in its 30 watt profile. The dock does the hard work and if you have some serious kit, it will be able to handle that, not a problem. The only thing I can really think of it missing is maybe a remote to switch between the sources without having to do it manually on the dock and that way I could hide it out of view. But it is a small issue as most people will likely have this at arm's reach on their desk. Other than that, it's well built very well stacked and it works a dream. So who is this for then? Well, there are a few scenarios I can think of, but I'd love to know how you would use it. If you have a powerful USB-C PC and want to take up to three monitors, then this is ideal. If you have a console in your desk next to your PC and want to switch easily, then this is perfect for you. Or if you only have one monitor and one HDMI input, then this would help by adding more ports to add more devices. And finally, who this isn't for is for someone who wants to combine three HDMI consoles into one monitor. This isn't that kind of device, it doesn't do that. It can only accept one USB-C in and one HDMI in. You could add a laptop and a PC if you want to, but remember the inputs will only go to the USB-C device. This dock is up there as one of the more expensive docks out there, but as I found out, some cheaper docks don't quite fit to what I need and with this BenQ, I knew I'd get a well-made piece of kit with a top spec and it has run flawlessly. I hope this has been of use to you and please do let me know if you have this or how you use yours. This was my look up on how to set up the BenQ DP1310 USB-C dock. Please do like, please do subscribe and until the next video, bye bye.